Yo, what's going on guys? It's iHelper and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new jailbreak update for iOS 10.3.1 and also iOS 10.2. Now, we have been stuck on the Yalu and Mock Portal jailbreaks for quite some time now. And finally we have some good news. So this, uh, this security researcher, Adam Donenfeld, from the company at Zimperium, says he will be releasing his exploits because he had eight kernel exploits that could be used to make a jailbreak. They have been patched in iOS 10.3.2 but not in 10.3.1. So he will be releasing those in the summer which could lead to another jailbreak just like Yalu did. Um, but it's not a full jailbreak. It does not um, install Cydia and let you run unsigned apps and stuff like that. Someone will actually have to pick it up develop it, use some of their own exploits, and turn that into the jailbreak. So I don't know if that will actually happen again. So that's why I'm taking this with a very with a grain of salt and uh, I think I'm gonna stay where I am on my iPhone 7 um, and my iPad. So that because you don't know if the jailbreak is gonna work for 10.3.1. Well you know it's going to work for 10.3.1 but you don't know if anybody's going to take it on and actually fix it and turn it into a jailbreak. Now the next thing is Pangu. Now Pangu wouldn't release a jailbreak for an unsigned firmware unless it was like the iOS 9.1, I think it was, where they had exploits that were out for it and they just said, you know what, whatever, we'll just release a jailbreak for it. That's what they did, so unless something like that happens with the 10.3.1 jailbreak, which I highly doubt, um, we'll be seeing the jailbreak later on and then um, <clears throat> okay so now let's talk about where you should be if you're on iOS 10.3.2 on any device downgrade to 10.3.1 obviously if you're on iOS 10.3 on any device upgrade if you're on iOS 10.2.1 that's a tough decision I would probably upgrade well, I still can, especially if you're on an iPhone 7. Now, if you're jailbroken on iOS 10.2 with everything else except the iPhone 7, that's a tough decision. Um, if you don't like the if you don't like the jailbreak and you just cannot stand it, um, then I would say go ahead and update. But I'm willing to bet that. The iOS 10.2 jailbreak is stable enough that you don't need to update. Now, if you're on iPhone 7 on iOS 10.1.1, that is a very, very hard decision because, as you guys know, and as I know myself, this jailbreak is not stable. Um, it's actually quite annoying at times, but it's still a jailbreak, and I don't want to have to update to 10.3.1 and then not have a jailbreak because no one took on the exploits and actually created a full jailbreak over it. So I think I'm going to stay here. Um, but again, that's just your decision. In my opinion, that's a really hard choice to make, especially if you are jailbroken at the moment. But you're just going to have to do what you think is right, and if you stay, that's great, you are guaranteed to jailbreak until something messes up, because something probably will mess up sooner or later, because this jailbreak is very buggy and unstable. Or you could update and possibly be stuck without a jailbreak, or get a new jailbreak on Apple's new file uh, new file system. So it's a bargain, but I think I'm going to stay where I'm at just to be safe. But anyways guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, Please leave a like, and if you're interested in seeing more content like this, tweak videos, jailbreak updates, unboxing, stuff like that, then subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. It's been iHelper. Peace.